You guys told me Blender used to have a built-in game engine. Yes, an entire game engine. So why did the developers decide to remove it? At first, I didn't believe it. Blender can do 3D modeling, sculpting, animation, visual effects. And now you're telling me it used to have a game engine as well. So I went digging. And the story is actually pretty wild. People actually made games completely inside Blender. So why wouldn't they want to keep that possible? Back in the year 2000, Blender released the version 2.0. And with it came the Blender game engine. This was five years before where Unity even existed. Blender had a built-in real-time engine long before modern game engines took off. So I downloaded some of these old versions from this very suspicious looking page. <laughs> what could go wrong? Ew! <laughs> what in the world? Yeah, Blender looked a bit different back then. It's good they removed this UI at least. But here's the cool part. You could build an entire game without leaving this version of Blender. You could model your character, place it inside a scene, add game logic and hit play all in one program. An example would be this game called Yo Frankie. It was made by the Blender Foundation in 2009 and I have never seen this game before but it looks awesome. And the best part about making games in Blender, you didn't even have to write a single line of code. Blender used something called logic bricks, little building blocks divided into three types. Sensors used to detect things like a key stroke, controllers deciding what to do with that input, and the actuators performing the action like, you know, moving an object or printing a message. So here I can press spacebar and the cube will move forward. I can hit play and boom, it works. Press spacebar, the cube moves in Blender. What? And yes, before you ask, you could write Python scripts too if you don't like this system. But isn't this so cool? Why did Blender remove this? Well, in 2019, with the release of Blender 2.8, the Blender game engine was officially cut. The truth is, the Blender game engine wasn't bad, everything else was just a lot better. By this time, Unity had exploded in popularity, Unreal had gone free, and in 2014, another open source contender appeared. Good oh. Blender simply couldn't keep up. It's free, open source, and and donation funded, so competing with huge companies was impossible. Blender had to focus on what they do best, modeling, animation and visual effects. The game engine started falling behind and eventually they made the hard decision to remove it completely. And in the announcement they even recommended the users to migrate to Godot. Yeah, that's how tough the competition was. But the story doesn't end there, because this is open source. If Blender drops something, someone else can pick it up. And that's exactly what happened. Today there are multiple projects continuing the dream of making games inside of Blender. The most well known is UB UPBGE, which stands for Uchronia Project Blender Game Engine. Uchronia basically means alternate history and that's their philosophy. What if Blender never abandoned the game engine? UPBGE continues to develop exactly where Blender left off. Same workflow, same logic breaks, but improved physics, better rendering and even EVE style effects. And the documentation is actually pretty good. Then we have Armory 3D. This one is like a modern rebuild of Blender's game engine. It uses Blender as the editor, but the actual engine is separate. You can use node based logic here or you script in hacks, which means you can export to many different platforms, all from Blender. Then we have the new and upcoming range engine, which seems really promising because of its performance. But it hasn't added the beloved logic bricks yet, which means you either need to write Python code or use their visual scripting system. So yeah, even though Blender removed its game engine, the idea is still alive and evolving. If you want me to try actually making a game in Blender, tell me in the comments and subscribe so you don't miss it. Thanks for watching, bye bye.